Tomorrow, Oklahoma City Police and our community will say goodbye to Kai. The K-9 officer died in the line of duty, and he will be given full police honors. But right now, there is a difficult task underway, and it's how to replace him. KOCO's Kim Passoff with that story. It's new at 5 tonight. Kai, a three-year-old German Shepherd, is the first police canine killed by a suspect in the line of duty in Oklahoma City history. I will get another dog, and, and that dog will do a good job for us, I'm sure. But uh, you know, Kai was pretty special to us. These are pictures of Kai as a pup. He was born in Belgium and brought to the U.S. two years ago. He was trained to find drugs and people, and not just criminals. Last month, Kai found a missing man. He actually found a, uh, uh, an elderly gentleman who had wandered away from his house. Many believe Kai saved his handler's life Sunday, guarding Sergeant Ryan Stark from Mark Salazar. That's the most important job those dogs have is to protect the officers out there, and Kai did exactly that. He did exactly what he was supposed to do, and he did it very well. Like Kai, the next OCPD canine will likely come from a pure German Shepherd bloodline in Europe. We've had uh, dogs from Czechoslovakia. We've had dogs from Germany. Once a new dog is selected, it will be brought here. This is the Oklahoma City Police Department's canine training facility, where for the last two decades, all of the department's dogs have been brought to learn to jump over obstacles and sniff out suspects. It's not designed to simulate things that the dog may have to go through while out, on the, out in the field. The training process is intensive. Normally, a training program runs anywhere between 12 to maybe 14 weeks. And all of that depends on how the dog and the handler are working together. The next dog trained here may take Kai's place on the streets. But like other police canines before him, Kai will forever remain part of the police family. God Kai. We will take it from here. Kim Passoff, KOCO, 5 News. Well, here are the honors for Kai. He'll be remembered at a ceremony tomorrow at First Southern Baptist Church on Sooner Road. It will be held at 11 o'clock. It is open to the public.